now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the two and only Wayne and Schuster. Starring Johnny Wayne and his good buddy, Frank Schuster. And here they are. Thank you very much. Welcome to another show. And Frank, I have no hesitation in saying that tonight's little electronic offering will be a landmark in television buffoonery. Well, what does that mean? It's not bad. <laughs> we'll be right back. Tonight, Wayne and Schuster present the second in a new series of educational features designed to bring you a better understanding of the world we live in. The wonderful world of... the world. <laughs> the ultimate aim of all knowledge is to teach us to respect our fellow man and to treat all people with love, warmth, and understanding. Don Rickles. <laughs> Tonight, the fascinating world of athletic endeavor is examined in our award-losing television mockumentary as we take a look at sports. And now, your genial hosts, Mr. Wayne and Mr. Schuster. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Welcome to the wonderful world of the world. We bring you this special documentary series tonight by popular request. Oh, who requested it? My sister. She's very popular. Oh. <laughs> tonight, we examine the vast spectrum of sports. From horse racing, the sport of kings, to Joe Namath, the king of sports. <laughs> what is sport? Webster defines it this way. Sport is, one, an experience that gives enjoyment or recreation. Two, an activity requiring vigorous bodily exertion governed by a set of rules. At a seminar in Vienna, Sigmund Freud put it this way. Expression of man's desire to compete. The human animal has a natural instinct always to be in conflict. I disagree. You see? <laughs> Perhaps the man who best summed up what sport was all about was Notre Dame's illustrious coach, Newt Rockney. In a few minutes, you'll be going out on that field. But before you do, there are a few thoughts I'd like to share with you. Sport is not just some idle pastime, but the sublime expression of all that is best in mankind. Every virtue that we cherish is demonstrated out on that field. Team play, courage, honesty, self-sacrifice, and concern for the other man. Now get out there and break their faces. <laughs> Let us begin our study of sport by returning to the misty origins of time. Where are your galoshes? <laughs> Look out, you dinosaurs! <laughs> the higher sort. Hey, hiya, Flip. Yeah, what do you know? Nothing. What do you know? Nothing. Well, in the Mesozoic period, that's the sum of human knowledge. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Oh, uh, this is a new invention of mine. A new invention? Yeah. You mean like the, like the wheel? What's the wheel? Well, you know, I invented it last week. I gave you one. It's that big round thing. That's a wheel? Yeah. That's a terrible invention. So what do you mean? It keeps rolling away. <laughs> there it goes again. Yeah. Well, what's your invention, smart guy? Oh, this is a game. I call it golf. Golf? Yeah. So how do you play it? Oh, come here, I'll show you. Yeah. Now, you see this stone here? Yeah. Now, and you know that gopher hole on the other side of the cave there? Sure, yeah, I know Yeah, that. what you do is you hit this stone with this club and try to knock it into the gopher hole. That's it? Yeah. That's the whole game? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you mean there's, there's no net? <laughs> no. There's no goalposts? <laughs> goalposts? 
to me. You, you, you just knocked a stone into the hole? Yeah. <laughs> you know what you are? You're a dum-dum. Yeah? And you got air pollution in the windmills of your mind. <laughs> Look who's calling me a dum-dum, huh? The yo-yo that invented the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's, a, it's an interesting toy, but where's the practical application? I still say that's a stupid game, and you know why? Why? Because it's too easy. Oh. It's too easy. That's all right, you Neanderthal nut. <laughs> Let's see you do it. Oh, all right. Let me have a crack at all this. Right. I'll show all you right. how to play Go this Go ahead. Game. <laughs> There's nothing to it. Just a minute. What? I would prefer if you use an old stone. Oh. <laughs> now, just stand back and watch this. Okay. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> We'll consider that a practice win. <laughs> I blew it again. <laughs> and there he goes. <laughs> That's a stupid game. It's a... <laughs> hey, you're going to be a great golfer, baby. So what do you mean? I missed it. Yeah, but you know all the words. <laughs> It was ancient Greece that first glorified physical fitness. This is the world-famous masterpiece, the discus thrower. And this is the equally famous, the discus catcher. <laughs> it was in ancient Greece, too, that the first Olympic Games were held. The year is 776 B.C. King Cleon of Sparta calls the role for the first Olympic athletes. Discorides. Here. Anaximander. Here. Aristarchus. Here. Pericles. Pericles? He's not here. Why not? Hepatitis. Hepatitis? Here. <laughs> Over 2,500 years later, a roll call at the modern Olympics produced a different problem. The United States of America. Present. Finland. Present. Canada. Present. Australia. Present. The USSR. Present. <laughs> the USSR. Present. <laughs> Nobody move till the doctor gets here. <laughs> and if the Russian ambassador is watching, we're only kidding, lady. <laughs> Sport, too, has been celebrated in great literature. Some of the world's most famous literary classics contain graphic descriptions of all varieties of sports. Ivanhoe describes jousting. The Three Musketeers is all about fencing. Ben-Hur tells about chariot racing. And Robin Hood, of course, deals with archery. Aha! The Sheriff of Nottingham. Robin Hood! Exactly. And what do we have here? A sack of gold handed over my fat friend. But that's against the law. Here we have only the rules of Sherwood Forest. What rules? We rob from the rich and we give to the poor. On your way, you fat and greasy oh, citizens. Oh, 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 oh. On your way. Aha! A sack of gold. Friar Tuck! Friar! Yes, yes, what is it, Robin? Find some poor peasant and give him this sack of gold. Ah, you're a good man, Robin. You know the rules. We rob from the rich and we give to the poor. Oh, bless you, my son. Bless you, bless you. Farewell! <laughs> Up and away! <laughs> and now to find some poor peasant and give him this sack of gold. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, my son. You look like a poor peasant. Here, here is a sack of gold. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> uh -huh. What have we here? A sack of gold. Hand it over, my skinny friend. <laughs> and on your way. On your way. <laughs> Robin, 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 that's the sixth time today. <laughs> I don't make the rules, baby. <laughs> Here, find some poor peasant, give him the sack oh, of forget gold. forget it, <laughs> will you? One of the most famous real-life sports stories concerns Sir Francis Drake. Legend says that he was actually bowling when he got the news about the attempted invasion of England. Sir Francis, Sir Francis! Yes? The Spanish Armada is coming! <laughs> Just a moment, old boy, I'm on a spell. <laughs> In 
In every Olympics, the Canadian equestrian team has always made a good showing. But riding has always been a sports tradition in Canada, as exemplified by the great Royal Canadian Mounted Police and their magnificently trained horses in their famous musical ride. Stay tuned for part two of the wonderful world of the world. <laughs>